Hey guys, the balloon here, and today's another BTD6 video, and today's gonna be tree stump on chimps. I did tree stumps chimps last year, but it's a little hard to follow, and I wasn't as experienced to make you guys clean strategies, so I thought I'd revamp it kind of like I did that Monkey Meadows chimps last week. Today's gonna be a really fun and easy striker drone strategy. If you're not used to using him, I do have a few other videos with him as well, but he's super fun and he likes to buff the mortars and the bombs, which is gonna make this strategy fun and super easy. Um, there's going to be no microwing of the mortar, and we're just going to use a few abilities here and there. So if you're not used to using abilities, it'll be a little bit of a lesson as well. So I think you guys will have fun with it. But guys, this is a tree stump champ, super easy strategy. So I hope you guys like it. Before we drop that first tower, definitely hit that like button if you like what you're watching so far. Consider subscribing if you're new because it does help out the channel. And then follow on Twitch for those balloons live streams every Wednesdays and Sundays. And Sunday, guys, yesterday was the coolest time ever. I actually streamed both to Twitch and YouTube at the same time for the first time. And it was amazing. It was the biggest turnout I've ever had. So thank you guys so much. For those of you who don't normally go on Twitch, but you were there for the YouTube, you guys are awesome. So thank you for coming out for that. And then also uh, the reason I say follow on Twitch is because I stream random stuff like this morning I streamed old school RuneScape and then that's normally where I stream balloons and we're all do quick runs on balloons. So definitely jump on there if you guys are interested. So we obviously we placed the ninja for our first tower. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to get a 201 and then we're going to grab our striker Jones. I don't necessarily know for sure if you even need 201, but he gets up to level 20 striker Jones does either way. And what's going to happen is I didn't want to wait for these balloons to come around this circle each time. So I just upgraded and then I didn't hundred percent sure no. And I didn't want randomness because sometimes, you know, like one balloon will slip through and I'll get those comments that didn't work for them or whatever it may be. So we're going to nip that one and just kind of get the 201 and we're guaranteed we're going to have no problems. And then we'll grab our striker Jones and then we're just going to grab bombs and then mortars back and forth, back and forth. And then we're going to have a few fifth tiers like you were seeing there. So it's going to be a kind of a fun strategy. It's a quick epilepsy warning if you guys do, because I'm not sure I'm not a doctor, but it looks like it. It just sits there and flashes and flashes and flashes and it gets a little out of hand. And so just to be on the safe side. And then also guys like this would be even easier like if you use like glue gunners or snipers and things like that but we don't even need it that's what's kind of cool so i'm not using any alchemists no slowdowns nothing like that we're just going to go straight powerhouse and knock all these things out i'm kind of bummed i even got the ninja to be honest with you but he's just such an easy start and he handles all of the first um camos before we get past that moab so he's good up until 40 pretty much on his own which is awesome so that's why we're gonna rock him and i didn't get an alchemist because it would have hit more than one tower and i hate when it doesn't i i like the alchemist to be on certain towers only not on a big mass amount of towers so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him all the way in the far top right corner as we put our ninja in the bottom right corner and this is for my purpose later because i'm gonna have a bomb shooter up here and it needs to be in range of the village we're gonna place and now what we're going to do is we're going to get up to a balloon jitsu and we're not going to use any abilities when they pop up because they don't even do anything right until the moab so it doesn't matter um we're just going to let this thing go until we have a balloon jitsu that's a four zero and then we're going to get a two for the caltrop so get the four zero two i'm going to skip ahead to that now so now that we have our balloon jitsu with our caltrops and we have our striker jones we're going to do two things right now so the first one isn't necessary but i like to do it as a placeholder because if not i'm going to mess it up later and what I do is I sneak this bomb shooter right here in between these two as far as close to the wall as we can get. And the reason why we're doing this now and not later is because I'm going to put the village right here. And right now he's completely hidden under the hat. That's kind of funny. But I put the village up here and I did the village first on one run and I wasn't able to get this guy camo wised up here that I'm going to place. So to counteract that, we're just going to put him here first so we make sure we have no problems. So just a placeholder. Now we're going to grab our real bomb shooter and put him right here. And this guy's pretty cool because he's going to single-handedly pretty much take down this Moab. We're going to put him on strong and then we're going to get him up to a Moab Eliminator or Moab Assassin. Yeah, Moab Assassin. And eventually he will be an Eliminator. You saw it in that pre-screen. But just for now, the Moab Assassin will take out the Moab. And then I also forgot to use the ability and I didn't... See, I don't know everything about this game, clearly. Like, everyone in the chat and the streams know this for sure. Like, Supreme and all of them, they all like to make fun of me. But I didn't know that the Assassin actually does more damage because I had just the Moab Mauler on and it didn't pop the Moab really. But then I had the Moab Assassin. Am I wrong though? I feel like maybe I just got lucky a different time, but whatever happened, I, did, I forgot to use the ability on the Moab Assassin and the Moab came down with no problem. So it was really cool either way. So I'm really excited about that. 
So now, like I said, what we're going to do is we're gonna get that Moab Assassin and then we're gonna get the two up here to make him a little even stronger and he'll knock out the Moab no problem. And let's skip to that. No, should we skip? We're almost there as it is now. So yeah, but yeah guys, so I streamed old school Excuse me, I got a cough still. <laughs> After all this time, I still have a cough. But um, I streamed old school RuneScape this morning, which if you guys haven't heard of it, it's really slow, but so much fun. And it was my childhood. And the fact that it's blowing up again and it's big on Twitch is so cool to me. So if you guys are interested in anything like that, definitely hit me up. We can be friends on there. We can help each other out and mine and fish and all that stuff and then battle the bad guys. It's really fun. And I'll be playing that more this week as well. And then now that we got our Moab Assassin, the next thing we're going to do is just get our village ready because we're good for the Moab. We don't need to do anything. Um, so let's get that village and just place him now. The village is a little tough to place. Um, I feel like I have to cough again, guys. I still can't get over this cough. It's been like two weeks. This is getting ridiculous. Um, I'm going to use the Assassin just to be safe. Oh, wrong ability. We have that ability too. But <laughs> just, I just use the Assassin just so we don't have any problems. And now what we're doing is we're getting our village so we can pop those camos. Because the ninja is solely doing it on its own right now. We want him to have a little bit of help. And then we're going to get this guy as far as we can up. Oh my gosh. I'm doing so bad at this, guys. I'm the worst. All right. So right there. And we're going to double check it to make sure that he's in range. And he is. So we're golden. Now we're going to speed pass through here. Get that radar scanner. And then we're going to get the jungle drums. And that's it. We're not going to get primary training. Um, actually, I guess we could get primary training. Because I don't get the... What do you call that thing? MIB. I don't get it. You should get it, but I don't get it. So let's just get that one. But I was supposed to get the camo first. See what I mean, guys? I'm so bad at this. So I wanted to get camo first because I'm not exactly sure how long the ninja can hold out, but I, he's doing just fine. So I think we're okay. But I'm not exactly sure what level is going to be too overwhelming for him. I'm used to having him with an alchemist, so he just goes on until the end of time. But for this one, we changed it up a little bit here. So now that we got him taken care of, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get... Oh my gosh, my voice, man. I'm, just, I'm trying not to like just hack on the camera or the, on the vocal box thing. So I'm trying to chill out, but usually I cut through. And when I make my cuts, I strategically plan them. So when I say, let's skip ahead so I can just start hacking up a lung over here. And then I come back like nothing happened. <laughs> but now I'm just trying to like hang out with you guys and get this, get this going. So uh, we're almost there to that recursive cluster. And this thing, as you guys know, is beautiful for round 63 or any group of cluster bombs. And we have the primary training on, so it's even cooler now, which I didn't do in my own personal run. So this might even be easier. And we're going to get a 204 on that one. We have a 240 on this one. And then we have our 402 ninja. And we have this guy to 32. And that's it. These None of these guys are going to be. Oh, actually, that's a lie. We're going to upgrade this guy again. But for now, guys, we're going to grab our mortar. And we're going to put him right next to this guy and we're going to place him in this general area because once we get the bigger one and the big one and all that kind of stuff it kind of hits this whole area so we're going to get the big one with eight grand so we'll just skip ahead to that one and then we're going to get the biggest one and this thing's going to get really cool and easy and you're not even going to see many balloons get past this area in this circle it's going to be really fun and really simple so let's skip ahead to that eight thousand mark i went to get water and i come back and i'm way over the eight grand mark so we got the big one and we're chilling and then the next thing i want to do is you know i'm just gonna go straight for that thirty thousand for that biggest one because i feel like that's the the smartest play here because that thing's gonna wreck it now you kind of want to watch for this things like reflecting so it's hitting the edge of that but i'm not sure exactly where it's supposed to hit all the balloons so i just put it like this general middle area and so not only is it popping up here it's popping down here and around here and you'll notice the moabs kind of like just disintegrate so, you know, honestly, we could kind of move it down a little bit. I didn't think of that earlier on. So you want it to kind of pop everything. I don't know why I had it all the way at this side. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense, huh? I learned something new every time. I'm going to put it like that-ish. Maybe that works. That's fine. All right. Now, like I said, we're just going to save up that 30 gram. But on a side note, guys, I'm pretty excited. So I got this new microphone. It's kind of cheap, but it's a dynamic microphone. And this one is a, what is this one called? Um, cardioid? Is that the right word? And so it's supposed to make it less echoey and be less background noise because it picks up different patterns. So 
I'm totally stoked about it. It's not really much of an upgrade. It's kind of a lateral, but a different type. So we'll see how it works. I wanted to get this like whole cool setup. So it sounds really cool, but I don't think I can get rid of my echo either way. So let's see how it works. I know this one looks a little funny. It looks like an ice cream cone, but I think it's going to be better than this one. And I'm going to stop bumping it because this thing will be out of the way. So I'm kind of excited about that, but I didn't want to set it up for this video because I know me and it takes me like days to set something up and i'll go through all these problems and it'll downgrade my quality of my videos so i thought i'd do this after i know it totally doesn't matter with this video i thought it'd be kind of cool to note because you might see something new in the next video okay so we're still going for that thirty thousand biggest one um 63 i kind of want to watch 63 with you guys because that one's kind of fun to see and as you can see these fortifieds like look at this we're barely even hurting them so they're getting finished, so it's not a problem. I'm not worried about it, but it's just a bummer. Like, you just want them to just be destroyed, you know? But look at 63. Doesn't even let us... Doesn't even come around that first bin. That is awesome. All right, so let's jump ahead to when we get that 30,000 for that biggest one. We're almost to that 30K mark, and I forgot to mention the abilities if in case you guys wanted to use them. So I think you guys already know. You probably play with Striker Jones enough to know that this first ability stops them all in their tracks, the Moab, so you just go ba-boom, and it stops them. You didn't really get to see it because they destroyed them too fast, but it's super helpful for like that, that ZOMG on 80 that's going to come up. Well, let's buy this thing real quick. Um, and then also too, so this one, obviously Moab Assassin, and this one's cool. So let's say you want to use your Assassin, but you want it to, you want it to regen, so... Where is it at? Let's try to use it on, let's have something stay on the screen longer than three seconds. Okay, so you use the assassin and then you use your third ability and the assassin comes right back. So that's really, really cool. And Striker Jones is like strictly meant for the mortars and bomb monkeys. So in case you were wondering, we got, I think it's like level four. He has all bomb shooters and mortars get 10% faster. Then you get the mortar blast 10%. What's the next one that's really cool? Bomb shooters near the hero get 5% range and 25% pierce. And then this guy at the end is going to help us on the bad. It gives double damage and pops per shot to all bomb shooters and mortar monkeys for 10 seconds. So not only is it going to regen our mobile, our Moab eliminator like super quick, but it's also going to make him super strong when, when he's shooting at him this whole time. So it's really cool to use. And I love Striker Jones. It's just hard to kind of find strats because not all the maps are perfect circles like this. So this one's just kind of cool. I kind of wonder if this would work here, just like kind of set this like right in the middle. Would it hit the whole track? Nah, it doesn't look like it's going to. I kind of like where I was at anyway, it worked. I always I always change what works. So this worked just fine the other runs I did, but I'm gonna be like, oh, let's tweak it and mess it up. So see, I just did that again. Okay, I think that's good enough. Maybe more right here. How about right there? Yeah, more than good enough. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we have a ton of money and I haven't been paying attention to it. So what we're gonna do is grab another guy and make sure he's in range too. It doesn't need to be, but it just helps to have everybody see camo. And we're gonna go all the way down to shattering shells for this one, get that faster reload. And as you guys know, you've seen a bunch of my other videos, shattering shells is amazing. And the biggest problem we're having is those fortifieds, right? And so they're gonna make them pretty much non-existent. The problem that still stands though is those ZOMGs and those DDTs with those fortifieds really aren't gonna matter with this shattering shells thing. So that's kind of a problem. And at this point, I kind of want to just jump ahead because we are going to get blue incineration, but I want to be with you for 80 because that ZOMG, I want to show you what you're going to have to do every time there's going to be like a crazy rush coming out just so you're safe and you don't have any problems. All right, so the big Mamba Jamba is coming out right now. So what we're going to do here, guys, is like I was showing you earlier where you can regen that ability. Um, you don't need to do all of this. I'm pretty sure the biggest one can pretty much take down most of it on its own, but it's still fun and it makes it easier. So we're going to hit that second ability, regen the second ability, hit it again. And then once he's in range of everything, so everything gets to attack like crazy, we're going to stall him with our first ability. And now he's just sitting there taking all this damage. So it is kind of a bummer that they're not all stronger. And you could probably have like microed this mortar a little bit better to make it easier. But at this point, you don't need to. And so you'll see again on I think it's 83 or 85 when there's two of them that it's a little scary. But for the most part, guys, this is really not a big deal. And the ZOMGs are the hardest ones we're going to have to hit for the most part because everything else like that was fortified is now removed thanks to this guy. And then once we get blue incineration, if you guys haven't used that, it's so awesome. It just destroys everything that goes through. It's just like ready for death and it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to hang out with you guys just for a little minute here before we skip ahead because I want to make sure we're safe. This is all fine. I think it's 85 or maybe I want to say 83. I don't know why 83 is tingling in my head but maybe it might be a problem. 
or I'm just getting threes mixed up with 63 and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty chill so far. Just fortifieds coming through and now they're not. I think they're fortified. Okay, cool. So actually let's jump ahead to 85. All right, so I'm gonna slow this one down a little bit. So again, let's do the same thing. Let's assassin, use third ability, assassin again. Let's just get this first one taken care of and then we'll kind of let everybody just kind of hang with that second one. Um, once he's in range of, the mortar's in range of both of these guys, I'm gonna freeze them just to get a little bit help out here. Cause we want the mortar pretty much to just be doing some damage and he's he's doing barely any damage really. It's kind of a bummer. Excuse me guys. I thought I got all out of my system during that little pause. Didn't that. Okay, so I think we're chilling. All those are gone. Um, we can assassin again if you guys want to, and now we're totally fine. I think we could have been fine anyway. It's just how I look at it is I don't want any Moab of any kind, no BFB, Moab, anything like that to be coming around that bottom circle. And now guys, we're gonna skip ahead to 90, and hopefully we have Boon Generation before him, but if we don't, we're gonna go through 90 and then use your abilities if you need to in between, but I'll let you know if we have to. So on 88, two ZOMGs came out, and just so I'm, I wanted to make sure because on 87, three ZOMGs came out and I used a little bit of abilities like I showed you on 85, but 88 came out and I didn't do anything because I wanted to test it. And what happened was the ZOMGs broke right here, BFBs broke right here, and then the Moabs came running through here, but then the, our biggest one broke them right here and so it was just balloons and we were, we were just totally fine. So I don't even think on 87 or 85 you probably had to worry, but we want to be safe. Now with 90 guys, you are going to have to do some stuff here. We're gonna stall them as soon as they come out. So keep it moving slow. And as soon as we see those DDTs, stop them in their tracks. So right now. And then we're gonna use the Moab Assassin and then get it again and then do it again. So we stalled Moab Assassin, third ability, Moab Assassin. And those DDTs are a little hard to kill. And until we get this guy, they're really, I don't know, just, I don't know why he's so much better at them, but he is. And so we're gonna take care of that and make that not a problem anymore. So we got blue incineration, and now that permanent wall of fire just sits there and wrecks everything coming in, and you'll see his damage start rolling up. Look at this guy. He's definitely worth the 48 grand, I love him. Same with this guy too. Just those constant pops, which is really cool. So now what we're going to do, what are we gonna do, guys? We need the Moab Eliminator. So. I don't know which I should get first though. I like the Moab Eliminator because he's awesome, but I also like, which one did I get first? I don't want to change it. I always change it and mess it up and then lose and go like, what happened? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get Moab Eliminator first. And that's probably the smarter play. And then for the last final tower, we're going to grab this guy up to an artillery battery and that just makes 99 no problem. Honestly, you could probably go artillery battery first, but like I said, I don't want to change it because it seemed to work. Because if I do that, something will happen. But I feel like we need the, if we had the artillery battery right here, just wrecking this circle, I think we'd be chilling. Or honestly, if I just moved the biggest one down a little bit, I think we'd be okay too. But I kind of like how this is rolling and it seems to be working just fine. And the mobile eliminator is awesome. So all that said, all those words and we didn't change anything. So that's fine. And we're almost there to the, what is it, 27,000. That is kind of a little crazy. But as you can see, like I'm not doing anything and the DDTs just happen to perfectly pop before they come our way. So it's really cool. And this 95, which is normally a problem, was just a cinch. So that, that stuff of, is beauty to me on this game. That's why I love this game is for things like that. Like that happens every time without a doubt. You're not gonna do anything different than me and you will have the same exact results. And that's just really cool that those things just, they don't even stand a chance. They just sit there and get wrecked, which is awesome. And now these ZOMGs are gonna have problems just because we got blue incinerator, which you could micro if you want to, but again, you don't need to do any of that stuff. You can micro the mortar, probably the biggest one, you can micro the blue incineration, but none of that is necessary to go on. Uh, we do have the Moab Eliminator now, so I'm gonna use that because he's awesome too. So just use it, especially on this one. Use that third ability and then use it again. Now you're good to go. Um, this one is one that you might wanna more, um, what am I trying to say? micro the mortar the blue incineration one to re reduce those fortifieds but again you don't need to we have a death trap here so nothing's getting through and now guys we're going to get our guy here we're going to put him again in range of here put him right smack in the middle and we're going to go middle i almost went bottom we're going to go middle and go bigger blast again so he's going to start shooting like a crazy person once we get that artillery battery and that one's fun and then, as you guys know, 98 is one of the hardest, but when you have just even a shattering shells, let alone fortified, or not 
what am I trying to say? Blue incineration, it's super easy. Like a 98 was no harder than 80 right there, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, now we're gonna get this artillery battery and we're done. We don't need to do anything else. We're gonna let them do all the work right there. Look at that thing go. And now the big bad guys. So Moab Eliminator. Recall it again with that third ability and then use it right away. Now you got double damage too, cause he's level 20. Is he level 20? Yeah, level 20. So we're chilling there. And then we're gonna use the Moab Eliminator one more time. There you go. And then they're gonna pop open. There you go. And what we're gonna do right now is we're going to put this into, we're gonna use our first ability there. And I don't think it actually did anything to the right blooms, but we got lucky. So <laughs> that was kind of lame. But um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why it did that, to be honest with you. It should have gone with the DDTs, but luckily that everything in this death circle was able to pop it and we had no problem. But that was actually kind of scary. I was like, am I really gonna lose on a hundred guys after all this and <laughs> doing it like six times? But the DDTs are so, so stop when they did it. But guys, this is a really fun strategy. And I honestly think you could take it even further. You could get this guy up to 32,000 because the pop and awe is amazing. I just didn't want to use it for this one because I'm not that experienced with it, but it's really fun. And then you could have also, no, he's maxed out. The one I wanted to use for this strategy, but he just costs too much money is this guy right here. Like if you go all the way with him to the top one, that thing is so cool. It literally stops everything in its tracks, which is just super, super cool. But I think you need the MIB, am I right? Leave in the comments below if I am right. I think you need the MIB because they can't see the black balloons and the DDT counts as black and lead. And that's why, and camo, which is why I think we're having problems with some of those DDTs. So let me know if that is the truth. And then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very, very simple to follow, I hope. And if you have any problems with the timing of these abilities or anything like that, please let me know or hit me up in the Discord. I always want more people in there. Uh, there's a lot of people to help with these kinds of things. So hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.